Hello, good morning. Today I'm going to be talking about how much I spent in the month of March living full-time in an RV. This is an extended series where I talk about how much things cost me, I break down different months, I've also talked about how much I spent on campgrounds last year, and I want to continue discussing kind of on these lines just to show the different variations each month and how different things cost in different locations. So this one is for the month of March. I am currently stationary in an RV park for a couple months and so the costs will reflect that. But yeah, let's let's dive right in. So starting with my most expensive category most months, it is going to be my campground fees and reservations, which came out to $926. Breaking this down a little further, I paid $525 for my RV park last month. It is normally $775, but I had paid a deposit, so that got taken out, so it came down to $525. And then the rest came from making reservations, so I'm doing some summer planning right now. I'm going to be making a cross-country trip, so that's why this month is a little inflated. The next category is my car category. Uh, notably, I did not spend any money on gas this month. I just kind of took March easy and a lot of things are within walking distance and so I decided I wanted to try and save a little bit of money on gas and not really go anywhere or go on any road trips. So the actual total for my car category comes out to $500, um, just slowly but surely paying off my car loan. And then the next category is fitness, which came out to $182. So this is a little inflated because I am paying for a fitness class here. There is an Aerial Silk studio nearby and I decided I want to splurge a little bit and pay for classes since this isn't going to be something I'm going to be able to do over the summer. So I figured since I have access to it, why not do it? Um, I foresee quite a few months in the future where this category is next to nothing but for right now it is a little high but that is okay. All right our next category is food which came out to $177. So I've kind of set a budget for myself for food. I haven't quite set a budget for anything else. I just keep an eye on it but for food I feel like I have a little bit more control over this category, so I decided I wanted to keep it below $200. So 177 is right on target. Our next category is Mercy. Thank you. <laughs> there you go, good girl. And she was, she was a little expensive this month. She cost me $161. This mostly comes down to the fact that I had to order and stock up on her prescriptions and medicines, which can be a little bit pricey, but will hopefully last me a couple months. My next category is my health category. So this is my health insurance, which I don't think I have included in past videos because I think my first one was back in January where I had already paid for my health insurance back in December or in November, but I am now back to paying for health insurance every month and my health insurance came out to $127, which a little on the pricey side, I'm not gonna lie. But I would much rather have health insurance than have an actual health emergency that cost tens of thousands of dollars. So it's a necessary evil. Our next category is miscellaneous. So this is everything that didn't quite fit into the rest of the categories neatly. These are things like laundry, toilet paper, pretty, pretty uninteresting things. And then moving on to our second to last category, which was subscriptions, which was only $38 this month. I think in January it was something like $83 per month, um, but this was a big one I really wanted to cut back on. I had a subscription to YouTube TV to watch some sports at the beginning of the year. Um, those sports have since ended, so I made sure to cancel that one ASAP. So we've really cut back. Um, we still have some sports going on, which is why it still does feel 
a little bit on the high side but that's definitely something I can cut back in the future and will hopefully cut back for next month. And moving on to our final category which is work which I spent $40 on this month. These are just boring business expenses. This is my internet, this is my Dropbox subscription, things that I have to have as a freelance graphic designer. And then that's it. I think this month I did a little better on my spending. I'm having some service done in June? May? Nope. I'm having some service done in May so I've been trying to cut back on spending a little bit so I can set some money aside for things like my tab service and for my cross-country trip that I'm going on. I expect it to be a little bit on the pricey side just because I won't be taking advantage of the extended rates on RV parks but rather using daily rates and I will have less of a selection as I am on the road. But I am planning on making a video in a couple months breaking down all these expenses that I had on my road trip for those who are curious. But for now, that's it.